Hey everyone, welcome back from my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a lipstick haul as well as like quick review and swatches for you guys as well. I have six products here with me, so without further ado, let's get started. The first one is actually a lip essence because I do have dry lips, so I thought, you know, why not get one of this to just, you know, make sure my skin is smooth before I do all this lip swatches, like I said, because I have dry lips. So this one is called Around Me, and this one has like a grape scent to it, really reminds me of like a grape lolly with the applicator it's like a typical like you know like this reminds me of high school lip balm that type and you can just apply over your lips but I think for me moving forward just for hygiene reason I'll just use my finger and just smear it on my lips but just for this review I just wanted to show you how to apply on the lips in terms of this this is so moisturizing this actually contains shea butter and beeswax hence why it feels quite thick on the lips but not that thick I would say like it's just very, very comforting like it feels very moisturizing and a little bit like tacky feeling but it feels very comfortable which I'm actually very impressed with this next one is actually a lip balm too and I really wanted to try from this brand because all of the packaging look really fancy this I kind of I don't even know how to say ether ether this is their vegan lip balm and this one is called the authentic airy lip balm and this one actually have six colors now with my one this is in the color number six which is more of like a corally color if you look at the packaging it looks more like pinkish but when i actually apply on me it looks more like corally pink and i feel like with this one for the price this is about 21 dollars for the price it didn't really justify how balmy it feels compared to like the lip essence for me however this does give a velvety finish on the lips but also like it just looks very like um, much more lighter color like I say it's a lip balm it's not lipstick even though it looks like a lipstick it's magnetic too so cool this one is from a popular brand i'm sure you guys know roman and this is their juicy lasting tint this one actually comes in two colors i think this is the latest collection so i got mine in number 29 papaya jam just like its name the color itself looks like that papaya orangey color but what i really like about this is that it gives you a very like lightweight and tinted finish on your lips so it doesn't look heavy at all i'm actually so also surprised that i like the glossy of this and it does feel a little bit like sticky when you first apply it however as the day goes by like as the hours goes by or minutes goes by the tackiness of it actually disappear i've actually used this uh, several times now going out and it feels very comforting and moisturizing and in terms of the touch up it does fade off but because it's so natural looking and how lightweight it is i didn't even bother to actually touch up at all next one is called kibo and really funny story in terms of this kibo name for me so my son is called kobe but i know someone that constantly calls him kibo no matter how many times i've told her no matter how many times i've corrected her like via messages and stuff with my son spelling she just keeps calling him kibo so when i saw this brand i was like i have to try this out so this is the kibo velvet lip plus tint and this one actually comes in a few colors as well and my one is called roseberry cake and i absolutely absolutely so love this this is probably like the most pigmented one compared to all of the ones i'm showing you right now and this one has like a velvety moussey lip finish which feels amazing on the lips and i love that you can do a combination of like gradation or fuller lip but it's just so like highly contrasted and pigmented and it's just the color is just so gorgeous and it just feels so comforting on the lips as well absolutely absolutely love this one a lot last two i thought i'll add it in here as well because i just recently got this too and i wanted i was like should i do a separate review or put it together and knowing me i'm so bad with uploading i'm just gonna put it all together so these are two new additional colors from the petty peta mood matte tint i believe this is like i think the tulip edition or collection so i thought i'd um, buy this so the first one is number 14 and this one is in the packaging it looks more like a nudie orangey but on me it's like a very coral sheer yeah orangey shade which i feel like it's not really emphasizing on my highly pigmented lips as well so i feel like this one no matter how many times i try to layer the color actually doesn't 
look opaque on me if that makes sense so yeah this one is a bit off for me however with number 15 this one is leaning much more towards like the coral pink side with a little bit more layering which is what I'm wearing right now it definitely looks so much better than number 14 and I didn't realize that this mood matching feels really drying now thinking about it because I remember when I did the review I find that it was okay but now I find it a little bit drying and I guess because it is a matte finish so definitely make sure to explore your lips as well now going back to this number 15 it's definitely a very beautiful pastel pink color I absolutely love it and I definitely recommend using it as a full lip rather than gradation because you're not going to get the finish that you want because of how dry it feels when applying but yeah those are my quick review on all of the lip stuff I've got recently I actually have a whole ton of like other lip products i do need to review but i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want me to try next what brand what specific color put it down in the comment box below but i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys